Being one of Santa's elves is more than just a job. Just ask Bernard, head elf and drill sergeant extraordinaire. Once a year, Bernard assembles hopefuls from around the elf world and puts them through rigorous training. The select few that make it to graduation will go on to become part of Santa's team, a position steeped in tradition and honor. This is their training day. You're all here for the same reason, to become one of Santa's little helpers. But in order to do that, you've got to go through me. So, what does it mean to be an elf? What's your name, cadet? Timothy, sir. And what does being an elf mean to you? We make toys. That's right, we do. But the meaning of the word is far greater than that. It represents a dream, a lifestyle, a passion, a purpose, a gift, a hope, a fellowship, a reason to live. We don't just make toys. We make dreams come true. We are dream merchants. Yeah! <laughs> okay, slow down now. You're not there yet. First, you're going to have to pass a few tests. So, are you ready? Sir, yes, sir. It's time to see what you're made of. You ready? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> That's more like it. Christmas Eve, I believe it was 1955, Dubuque, Iowa. Santa's making his way down a very dusty chimney when crash, boom, zing! The bow catches a rusty nail and rips off. Santa loses his footing and plummets all the way down to the chimney and gets wedged between brick and cement and can't move. Now, we don't want that to happen again, do we? So that's why it's got to be perfect. Let's try it one more time. Sir, yes, sir. OK, what do we have here? Cindy wants a dollhouse. Make them all the time, piece of cake. And her brother Billy wants a race car, mass produced, no problemo. Jack wants a Toy Story DVD. Hmm. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Sir, this letter's from Kathy in Bakersfield. She wants a baby brother. Hmm. Well, this one is for the stork. <laughs> you read the card, you put on the suit. That clearly falls under the Santa Claus. So now you're Santa, okay? What's going on here? Oh, we're rehearsing. We know you're going to make more movies, and you're going to need elves. <laughs> you're just a tad starstruck, aren't you? You think making a movie is easy. Well, when Santa and I began filming The Santa Claus, we thought it was going to be a snap, too. You know, you say a few lines, you make a goofy face or two, you play with the reindeer, you go home. What's the big deal? Well, I'll show you the big deal. Look at all the work that went into making this movie. Roll tape! Santa had to drop about 200 pounds to play his alter ego, Scott, in the movie. You know how hard it was to keep Santa off the milk and cookies during those scenes? Santa loves his dairy product. Look at me, a tour de force performance. I got raves and was never given direction, not once. They called me One Take Bernie. One tip, never act with reindeer. They show up, prance around, and chew up the scenery. They may get Santa through the dark and foggy night, but I'm the one who makes him look good on screen. Plus, they're very smelly. You see that? It's not all fame and fortune. There's endless hours of sitting around waiting for your close-up. And then it's take one, take two, take ten, yada, 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 over and over again. It was endless. I am drained emotionally. Yeah. I don't know. This was my favorite part, getting my ears waxed. Fantastic. I am a method elf. I live my role. When the producers found out we could fly, they couldn't get enough until we smashed right into a lens. And it's all fun and games until somebody breaks a camera. 
This scene always gets me. <laughs> Saying goodbye to Charlie and Laura. Santa was really living his role now. This is where it all pays off. Santa is a superstar. So you see, movie making takes desire, discipline, and dedication. <laughs> I can't wait for the next one. Cadet Timothy. Sir, yes, sir. Welcome to Elfhood. Sir, thank you, sir. Is that all you ever say? Sir, yes, sir. I like it. Cadet Molly. Congratulations on your work with Santa's mail. You're just the sort of elf we've been looking for. Sir, thank you, sir. Cadet Judd. Bravo. And if you're good enough, you might just make it into one of our movies one day. Sir, thank you, sir. Remember, there are no small parts, only small elves. <laughs> Attention! Cadets of Class 1167, you have now graduated. You are part of the envied and the elite. You are the noble, the diligent, the short. You are officially elves. <laughs>